Hi guys, this is just a quick video to show you how to connect your BlackBerry Playbook to your Mac over Wi-Fi and mount it as a drive. So first of all, they both need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And on the BlackBerry, you just need to tap the settings icon at the top right, the one that looks like a cog. And then look for storage and sharing on the left. And turn on the file sharing option you'll see a warning about setting a password and if you want to set a password there's an option when you scroll down to set a password um, I'm just on my home network so I'm not going to bother setting a password right now and then you just need to make a note of your IP address which you can find by tapping about and then selecting network in the drop down box and it's the IPv4 address that you want. In this case, it's 192.168.0.15. And moving over to the Mac now. In the Finder, you want to select the Go menu and then Connect to Server. And then under Server Address, you need to type SMB colon forward slash forward slash followed by the IP address of your playbook, so I'm putting 192.168.0.15 and then click on the connect button and if you enter the password on the playbook, this is where you would enter that password now I didn't, so I'm just going to connect as guest and then it will ask you which volumes you want to mount and the important one is media because that is where all of the files are stored on the playbook so just select media and then click the OK button and you should find now that you have access to all of the files and folders that are stored on the playbook. So you have books, camera, documents, downloads, photos. And you can just drag and drop files to and from the playbook from your Mac desktop. And you'll also notice that the playbook is listed now under shares in the finder window. To get the playbook to appear as a drive on your Mac desktop, you just need to go into Finder Preferences and then under the option Show These Discs on the Desktop, make sure that Connected Servers is ticked. And you'll see that an icon now appears for each of the volumes on the BlackBerry. 